Hey Photo B students, this is Miss Taylor. I'm going to show you how to make hair selections on a green screen. It's a really fun process, so let's go ahead and begin. We're going to jump into the PCH Assign Drive, go to Taylor, Photo B, and then we're going to go into Unit 3, and we're going to use Shari in Minneapolis. So let's go ahead and drag that and put it on Photoshop, or you could just double click on it because it is a PSD file. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select all this green. We want to make Shari look like she's standing in Minneapolis. There's the Minneapolis skyline behind her. So let's go up to Select, Color Range, and we want to make sure that Shari is a white silhouette. So if it's not, just go ahead and click Invert so she's a white silhouette. Next, we're going to jump over to this eyedropper tool, the one that has the plus sign on it, and we're going to go ahead and get all of the areas that would be green. So get in there as close as you can. Oops, if you go too far, just go ahead and go to the minus tool, and then click OK. And you'll see that it does a pretty good job at selecting everything. Now we want to make sure that we get all these little hairs in that picture to make it look as real as possible. So if you're on any one of the selection tools, the marquee tool, the lasso tool, or the quick selection tool, you'll always get that refine edge button there. There it is. There it is again. So go ahead and click on that. At the top, make sure that you're on overlay. Make sure your smart radius is on and make sure you de decontaminate the colors. Okay, now you'll get a little brush here, and you can increase the size of the brush or decrease with your bracket keys right next to your P, and then we're just gonna go ahead and paint the hairs that we want in there. And Photoshop does a pretty good job at detecting any green and getting rid of that. So if there's some um, green cast on the arm here, you can try to get rid of it through the Refine Edge option. Okay, so after that, you can use the Smooth tool to smooth out any of the edges if, that, if you need that. You don't want to do it too much or you, you'll lose the texture of the hair. Um, you can feather. You can create greater contrast between the blacks and the whites, the lights and the darks. And then if, it, if you see too much green there, you can move that down. So you're shifting the, the um, selection to a lesser amount. So in other words, your object is shrinking a little bit. And then you're going to make sure it says new layer with new layer mask, and it'll create a mask right here that we can modify later. So click OK. did a pretty good job. No shadows there. Most of her hair is selected. If you want it to have a little bit more texture, what you can do is hit Command J and you'll see a little bit more volume that was lost during that reflection or lost during that selection. And there you have it. There's Shari Minneapolis. Have fun. Bye.